this is a little bit different. I feel like I don't, I mean, I, I don't talk to you guys at all. But I figured I'd start to, like, film a vlog over the next couple of months because I feel like there's a lot that I could like, talk to you about and catch you up about, about, like, reborns. I figured I'd put, like, film it all over the next couple of months and put it into a vlog. That way I can, like, show you guys all in one place. Because I feel like there's some things that I'd like to, like, tell you guys and talk to you guys about and show you about, like, reborn-related things. But it just doesn't, like, it's not, like, big enough to make, like, its own video or like a segment I guess in like another video and so I figured I'd make a vlog so this vlog will probably go up like a couple months from when I'm like starting to film this right now it's currently like the end of July I wanted to quickly start filming now because there's something that I didn't tell you guys that I was hoping I was going to be able to do but unfortunately I um I just, we're not going to be able to, unfortunately. But that's a reason why I didn't tell you guys was in case it wasn't going to be able to happen. But basically, well, my mum and I were going to do, like, a pre-love store. Like, make our own up. And we're going to just do it in our front yard. And it was going to just be, like, a pop-up, like, pre-loved baby store, basically. Of, like, pre-loved clothes. Pretty much a, like, ranging from, like, preemie or, like, newborn to, like, toddler size. Or even, like, slightly older if people handed in clothes but unfortunately that's not going to work just for reasons that you probably may know um, about already because a video should have come out about why I have been gone for so long that video about explaining all of that should have already been out so if you don't know why I was gone for so long and would like to know then you can go ahead and watch that video it should be out so it's editing me just popping in here to apparently finish the clip that I was supposed to finish back in July. It is now towards the end of October. I don't know what I was supposed to be finishing in that clip. I can't even work out what I was supposed to or what I thought I was going to continue to talking about. So here I am popping in to say that I don't know what past Michaela was going to say. All I know is that future Michaela is here and I am going to just say the rest of the video is just about what I just told you pretty much. Apart from a little hole at the end. Buckle in, strap in, Put the video on in the background if you want to like clean or something and just listen because it's a bunch of rambling enjoy the haul from the what was supposed to be pre-loved baby store and enjoy the other haul that i actually went and brought towards the end of the video and let me know your thoughts in the comments about little vlogs like this all, all vlogs won't be just hauls or things like this, it's just that's what was going on in the moment. But hopefully other vlogs would be interesting things. Like if I was, for example, I really need a new bassinet and really want a new one. But I don't have the extra money at the moment. But I am still always looking. For example, like things like that could pop up in vlogs. Or if I spontaneously get a new pram, which probably won't happen for a little while. But who knows, like things like that could happen in some of these vlogs. But just know, this isn't the only vlog that... The, my vlogs aren't always going to be just like this but yeah i'm like literally pretty much finished editing i just need to put these clips in so my um camera like the sd card ran out of storage and so that first little segment i will continue on with in a different clip and so that would have you would have already seen the continue on of that bit but i'm currently about to go through this big bag of clothes that we had put aside for this pre-love store um, now this bag I believe we have organized into things that to brands that are like what you would be like branded with clothes or like more expensive like almost like designer but like not. There may be like Jamie K items in here, there's probably Disney branded things in here um, like La Siena Culture, like different brands like that that are in here and so this is the last bag that I have to go through to pick out what I would like to um, personally keep and then the rest will be sold on. I'm gonna go through these. I'm not going to like film me going through these just because that would be a lot. Like there's like even like bonds and things like that in here. But I will do, a, I will show you like everything that I pull out like from this bag and like from like the bin, the tubs that we have out in the dining room that is like completely taking them over the dining room over at the moment i will show you everything that i decided to keep from everything and there's still plenty of clothes to be sold i'm not keeping these but look how cute it is i believe these were my cousins to be honest look at this it comes with like the little like sun hat for like it's swimmers and then it has like the little like swimmers like these are brand new like tags are still on i believe these were from my cousin a lot of things that we got were either like hand-me-downs from like my cousins hand-me-downs from like p 
people that we may have known. Otherwise, we just went on Marketplace, got like cheap bundles that we think that when we priced, we could profit off of or like even found just like free bundles and then got them that way just in our local area and that is how we accumulated a bunch of like different like sizes and clothes and things like that and so yeah now we just need to resell them off obviously we're not going to make back the money that we may have spent we aren't selling like all of them like some i've already gotten rid of a bunch of girl clothes um to my sister's friend who recently had a baby girl i'm going to ask one of my friends who is pregnant um, with a baby girl if she wants to have a look at any before i do sell them on i don't know anyone who is having boys at the moment but that is what is going on and how we are doing it we did make sure that we told everyone that we knew who was having a baby first so they could have dibs and we didn't pay them we're not paying them for it they can just take whatever they'd like and then the rest are going on marketplace for a price this one for example is like h&m we've got like disney baby over here these are like a pile that i want to there's a maybe pile for me possible pile another possible keep pile for me there's like bonds and then the baby patch or like pumpkin patch is like kind of like similar same thing i think that's cotton on that's another little brand that's another brand there's a bunch of different like branding like yeah what do we got under here like just other branded stuff like this spot miffy like, there's a bunch. Now I've got to put it all the way back in. And I don't think I'm keeping too much out of it. Okay, so it is currently, I don't even know the day. What's 16th of October. And I've kind of forgotten about this vlog a little bit. So it's going to be kind of like all over the place. I'm finally getting around to showing you everything that I decided to keep from the bag that I showed you going through. And the rest of the tubs that are in the dining room. I believe this is the only pile that I decided to keep from the bag that I showed you but then there's a lot more from the tubs that I decided to keep so I'm going to show you everything that I decided to keep and then I'm going to try everything on the babies but I'm only going to show you my favorites of them on the babies just so I'm not like gonna have like a half an hour long video just wanted to quickly show you uh, a few things that aren't like clothing pieces that I decided to keep I decided to keep this not for the reborns but actually because our dog has like a cot which is actually her bed because she's so big we got her a cot and just kept one side off and that's her cot her bed decided to keep one of these are uh, like waterproof mattress protectors because I'm going to eventually get a new mattress to go out there and then I'll put this on it to help protect it so it lasts a bit longer than that one that she has now so that's why I kept that I seen one of these it's a pure baby uh sleeping bag and I don't know I don't think the rebonds are really going to be able to go in it because I actually think this is mainly for like a little bit of an older baby because I'm pretty sure sleeveless which is what's throwing me off of it a little bit but I wanted to try it out so I kept it found two really cute like thin like muslin blankets one in a white and then one in a gray so I just decided to keep those because you can never go wrong with like cute like little muslins so I decided to keep those as well and the battery is going to go flat so that's lovely I'll try to get through as much as I can
that is everything that I decided to keep from the tubs. I think I did pretty well. Looking back through them now, I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot that I took that out. So it was actually fun to look back through them because it's been so long since I put them aside and actually went through them. Tried to only pick out things that I knew that I would actually use for them and actually like put on them regularly, I guess. Or things that I would have liked to have kept for like rebrail kits and things like that. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have any favourites or anything like that. But yeah, I'm going to go try these on and then... I don't know what I'm going to do after that. I do need to film another little video, so I'll probably do that. But. So I tried the dinosaur pyjamas on him. These are 0 to 3 months. Keep in mind he is preemie to newborn size. So these are quite big on him, but they actually don't fit him too bad. Like, as bad as I thought they were, they are really loose. And looking at him, like, right now, it looks like they fit him. They don't. They are really big and loose, but they're actually really cute. I love them, and I don't know why he's coming up so dark. How cute do they look? I love these so much. I'm definitely keeping these for future real kids and reborns, because how cute. So this is the Jamie K long-sleeved onesie that I've just put on him. It does fit him. Now, this is the 0-3. to three. Keep in mind, he is newborn or preemie. So I definitely think newborn would be best for him, but 0-3 to three definitely does fit. It's just a little bit loose in certain places, especially around his neck. So you definitely need a onesie underneath it. 0-3 to three can fit, but I think I would much prefer the newborn size for him. That's pretty good, considering how tiny he is for a 0-3 to three month to fit him. I think this is super cute, so I love this. Just tried the very last thing on Hudson that I needed to. I don't know why the lighting is so bright at the moment. I do apologize. I was going to try this one on, but it's just going to be way too big for him. But I am going to still keep it. I'm actually very surprised with the way that it fits. I didn't think it was going to fit this well. Actually, not too bad. I actually really love it. I think he looks really cute. And I'm actually really surprised that it fits him decently. So I just tried on these really pretty pants. This is what they look like on. I think they are super duper adorable. So I love them. I don't know if I have anything top wise though. So I'm going to have to look through her clothes and see. And then if not, we'll have to find something to go with these. But I think these are super duper pretty. This is another one that I wanted to quickly show you guys. How cute. Giving like more of like an older style type like baby clothes but i love it i think it's so pretty and cute it is newborn size but it's quite loose around her neck other than that i think it fit pretty well i think this is really cute so i had to add a bow because it makes the outfit look a little bit better but here is the ralph lauren sleeper i think it is super cute and it fits her really well which is really nice it's one of my favorites for sure so this is the h&m like crossover onesie which I don't usually love the crossover onesies. I just find that they can sit funny sometimes on reborns. Not necessarily for like real babies, but on reborns. This one doesn't actually look too bad. So I'm definitely going to keep this one. Yeah, it's quite pretty as well. So yeah, I'm glad that I decided to get this one out. It's been a little while. I had a few things pop up. And so it kind of stalled me for a little bit. But I have just finished trying on pretty much everything on them. Um, I did try to try everything on them. There's a lot. So it does take a while. I did try quite a lot on. And my favourites I did show you guys. I still have Hudson literally in this Winnie the Pooh outfit. Because I think it's adorable. I am. I'm about to change him out of it. I just think he looks so cute. The hood is a bit big. But you know what? It's fine. There is two items that are two items that i'm actually deciding not to keep so i'm going to put them back out into the tubs and then sell them on these pants i decided to not keep them because i don't think they're going to fit any of them at the moment and i also just don't think if i did keep them that i would use them and then this one here although it is newborn it's quite large for a newborn size it's not going to fit hudson and i was umming and ahhing about it i wasn't like a hundred percent sold on it because it is just like a plain pattern yeah it's not going to fit him because it's for whatever reason a really large newborn size and so yeah that's a little bit unfortunate but it's okay yeah but other than that i think i'm pretty much 
going to be keeping everything for now i mean i could in a few months not end up even using some of these or have a change of mind and so i might want to sell them on or donate them after a few months but right now i'm loving these clothes and feel like i need new clothes for not repeating outfits on them so i think these will last a good little while i'm gonna have to take photos of him in this outfit before it gets too hot because this is adorable. I'm pretty sure I have Winnie the Pooh dummies now, but I just haven't used them because I haven't had any Winnie the Pooh outfits. So it'll be good to be able to use a Winnie the Pooh dummy with this as well. I'm so glad that at least one decently fits him because yeah, the other Winnie the Pooh outfit is way too big, but I'm still keeping it because it's adorable. So it's currently the 1st of October. I'm a little late to filming this just because I didn't know what I was going to end up filming on. I didn't want to film it on my phone, but the actual like SD card that I have specifically specifically for filming newborn related things is full. So I have to do like go through it and like clear it. That's literally what I'm about to do after I film this. I really wanted to film this for you on the camera. So I'm on like my personal like SD card that I just film like a bunch of different things on for now. And then I'll just figure that out later i got a few things from best and less the other week uh, as i said it's been a while because i wanted i didn't know what i was going to film on i can't remember if it was last week or the week before it could have been last week could have also been the week before can't quite remember i got a few things i basically just told my nieces to find something um to keep them occupied because they were being a little bit reckless in the shop so i was like each one of you pick something out for hudson and hazel and so this is what we come up with. So my niece picked this one out for Hazel, my eldest one. She picked this one out for Hazel. It's super pretty. I haven't tried them on though yet. I do want to. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So I'll try them on them shortly. I don't know if it will be today, but it'll be in the vlog. Anyway, it's a really pretty one though. This is the one that she chose. It's 0 to 3 months for Hazel, which she can fit in 0 to 3. Much prefer her in newborn sometimes, I think. This is another one that I really like, so I decided to get it as well, just as like personal choice. But that's the pattern. How pretty is it? So pretty. But I just thought it was a really pretty pattern. This one's newborn. Oh, and these are all organic cotton, apart from the last one that I will show you. But these little onesies, like these, are all organic cotton from Best and Less Baby Berry brand, which are so nice. I love them. And they're only $6 each. So all of the onesies are $6 each. So cheap. And they're really good, like, material. I believe they're all long sleeve. Yeah. So they're all, like, a long sleeve onesie is so cute this one's in newborn though because they didn't have a newborn in this one um which is why we got the zero to three and that's one that she picked so i was like we can work around the zero to three it's not like a huge size difference for her anyway this is the one that my youngest niece picked out first but then she changed her mind to this one but i still really like this one so got this one as well and then that's why i got two things for hazel because i ended up getting two things for hudson in the end i really love this print i think it's so cute and pretty and i actually showed my friend and she wants me to grab one for her as well so i've got to grab one for her she's in a different country that's why <laughs> but i think it's so cute like just like a little plain one so yeah there's that one and then this is the one that my youngest niece decided on at the very end this isn't organic cotton or anything still baby berry brand this one was twelve dollars it's not like focusing on the whole thing oh there we go kind of but it's like a little like romper type thing and it's neutral which we are trying to go for i know these aren't like super neutral but they're like simple patterns and they're really pretty and these are very springy which we're now in spring now and I really liked the plain one. That was all. I just wanted to quickly do a little haul and show you guys those. Oh, the sizing for Hudson's things. Really quick. Uh, this one's newborn. And then this one's tiny baby. So like a preemie type size. So yeah, those are all of them. I just wanted to quickly show you because I feel like there's so many things that I like to show you guys. But I just never can like show you guys in like just one video. So I feel like if I vlog things and then once I have so much put into one and then put it up. Then I can still like share it with you guys it's just obviously not in the moment and i can always put things on my story but i just feel like it's so much easier for me to just film it like this and then eventually upload it to youtube in a video if you guys want me to post more on my instagram story let me know because when things like this do happen like i can always do that 
like just do like a little haul or post something on my story maybe i'll start to try to do that as well as things like this if you guys enjoy things like this i just figured it would be i don't know there's just a lot of things that i'd like to share with you and i feel like this is the best way anywho i just wanted to show you those <laughs> It's editing me again. I didn't end the video. So here I am now ending the video. Not all of my videos are going, not all of my vlogs, if I continue to do these, will be like this. This is just what was going on in my life at this time to do with the pre-love store. It was a big thing that I was going to do. And then it didn't happen for reasons. That's why most of this vlog is that. But just know that if I was to continue doing these, all of these won't be in here. Yeah, this was pretty much just a vlog full of hauls so i apologize but i hope you guys enjoyed anyways my arm is getting so sore because i am not used to holding the camera out like this thank you guys so much for watching if you watched it all the way through and made it this far i uh applaud you all because it was a lot of rambling thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video Bye.